couple against Louis Caparuso at the center ice dot. Here we go, the puck is down. And Louis Caparuso has played 500 professional games. And we are underway here tonight as it's the Cyclones and the Heartlanders. And just like that, a turnover right out. He does get it to Allen, kept in. McLean's going to have some room. Takes a shot and they score. That one is tipped in by Passelt, who has 20 on the season. Across. He's got Smerick. And a handoff to Polino. Across, he'll find Jalen Smerick again. This shot on rebound and they score. And Luca Berzan, welcome to Cincinnati as Berzan scores his first as a Cyclone. Here. And it's an early goal. Cyclone steal. Caparuso's got it back for Barry. Back for Caparuso, and he scores. And Louis Caparuso in his 500th professional game nets a goal. Now, He's Sinclair, he having to come right back to his net and make a save. White takes a shot. Rebound is still there. Sinclair has kept it out. They battle for it behind the net. steal a puck, and now they may have a two-on-one. Brendan Robbins has it. Turflinger going toward the net. There is going to be a penalty as Robbins was taken down. Six on five, Iowa still has the puck, a shot tipped wide of the target, and Caparuso gonna help will it touch out. up, play it up, held in by a falling McKernan who gets a piece of Justin Vive on his stick, and that will be a penalty. Hopefully Vive is uh, division statistically against one of the best. Polino gets a pass, shot, and he scores. That one may have been tipped, but it looks like it's Polino's, if not Matt on this one. Uh, the Cyclones will have to get points in every game from now through the 19th as Olaszewski shoots and scores. Passel goes in on a two-on-one, feeds Cohen Olaszewski. The first two rounds, because in all likelihood, you're gonna see Idaho end up in as the first overall seed, and then Berzan takes a shot, Robbins. and he scores. As Barry collects a pass, and then a scary head there. Hopefully Matt Barry's all right. This is gonna be a penalty against Iowa. The other, both came in February as Burnside a shot, and it's tipped, they score. Looks like that was Pente Picar. We're going to get some extracurriculars after, but we're still waiting around and seeing if they can watch their team, see if they can maybe get one goal as Karan and Olaszewski battle. And now, oh, 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 looks like Cody Karan and Jake Durfling are going to have at it. And Karan's gloves are off, and he is absolutely hammering Durflinger. The linesmen have been in the way the entire time, so I don't know if they'll count it as a fight, but boy, did Cody Karan make sure that he got the best of Durflinger. And Karan says he'd like to feed him a little bit more on the chance. Well, serving the penalty is going to be Luca Berzan for Karan, who is uh, out of the game. So it still takes a heck of a lot of effort to come in and put this kind of performance up on somebody. As a chance, Durflinger in the slot. Oh, that was a huge save nice. for Alan Mark Seals. On to Berg. And for Polino, a shot off of Hansen. And we tick down the final three seconds, and on Mark Sinclair's birthday, he picks up a 41-save shutout. That is his fourth shutout of the season, and Sinclair tied among the league league in shutouts. He is also just the sixth goaltender in Cyclones franchise history to record four or more shutouts in a single season.